All right, you guys, today I am outside sketching. It is 48 degrees and I've been taking Sandy Hester's new course called Taking Notes in Landscape. I've been learning a lot from her. Look at all these really cute geese. Also squirrels over there right now. Do you see the squirrel? And some pretty geese are just over there having some nice relaxing time in the sun. And I have just been sitting here on my coat, sketching for the past hour or so. And I'll show you what I've been sketching. My view. So that's the first sketch I did. I don't love how these turned out at all, but I had so much fun. So I think that's all that matters at this point. I've never really sketched much from the landscape before. Um, but as Sandy Hester says, it's about taking notes. Usually when you come on location and you do your first sketches, they don't turn out very good. But it's all about taking notes. So these are my notes from today's landscape scene. I used my Neo Colors. I used a charcoal sketch pencil. And then I also used this water brush to activate the neo colors with some water so that's kind of what they turned out to be um all i brought was this bag i also brought some watercolor i just didn't end up using it so that's all i brought it's been a beautiful day sketching relaxing having fun all right guys i wanted to show you this and I just recently created this and painted it. I also did some mixed media, so I used some colored pencil on it as well. Um, but I love how this turned out. It's my sister. And it's been kind of a dream of her to for me to create a painting of her. And I just have not been able to. Like every time I would go to paint her face, I just would, it would turn out terrible. It would not look like her. And I'm going to give you guys an example of one I did maybe a year ago. I don't know. But this was me trying to paint my sister. It looks nothing like her. I changed everything once it started going bad. I gave her curly hair. She doesn't have curly hair. Um, and I hated how it turned out because I felt like it didn't look like her at all. It doesn't. I was struggling. I was struggling for the longest time on how to do portraits and how to do people. But I feel like after a few years of struggling through people, I'm kind of learning how to get the hang of things. And this I just did with the primary colors. So once I simplified my palette and just went to primary colors is when things changed for me. Um, so... Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this to remind you to not give up. If I have any other pictures of my sister, I'll try to insert them here. Ones I've done in the past, I have just not been able to accomplish painting my sister. And I'm so proud of myself that I didn't give up and that I kept going and that I was able to actually paint my sister like this. So this was super fun. Maybe in another video, if you guys want to see... I'll kind of show you what my process is. This is the first time ever I've ever done it. So I want to keep practicing um, and just keep getting better because I know this could even be better. There's a lot of things within this that I know could be better, but I'm just so, so thankful that I was able to even make it this far. So I'm just going to keep pressing on. I also love how the background turned out, how it's kind of washed out looking and then with the floral design and I kind of wanted the background to match her eye color so so that her eyes would pop so yeah really love how that turned out and I'm just excited to keep going also one more thing I want to mention is that this is why it's so important to keep your old artwork I used to throw away everything that I didn't like 
and I would just literally just throw it away because I knew it was ugly and I didn't like it. I hated how it turned out. It was nothing what I had envisioned it to turn out, but this is why you need to be keeping your art because then you can look back. Like I'm keeping all the art I do, no matter if I love how it turned out, no matter if I hate how it turned out, because I want to see how far I've come 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. And also sometimes you can create a piece, turn it over, wait a few weeks and then come back to it. You can turn it around and be like, oh my gosh, I actually really like how that turned out. So definitely something that you can just um, put away and then bring back out later and maybe you will like it. So that's my encouragement to you to actually keep all your art and to not throw it away. So I want to kind of show you guys what I have been up to these last few weeks and then I will close out the video. I've been super busy with coffee and Bible time. So that has been taking up a lot of my time. I haven't been able to paint as much in the last few days. Um, but like I said, I was doing the 30 day challenge and then I stopped doing it. So that happened, but that's okay. I had fun while I was doing it. And I think I just started getting bored of it and I stopped, but this was a part of the 30 day challenge. I showed you guys a few clips from this. Um, this was super fun to do because I painted flowers that I got. So that was fun. And then this was when I went out and just painted the view. I'm taking Sandy Hester's class, her new course on taking notes in the landscape. So I actually went outside and I painted and I saw, I used neocolors and I used some watercolors. So I just did, literally just worked on what I saw. I don't love how these turned out, but I love that she talks about how it doesn't have to turn out perfect. You're just taking notes in the landscape. Um, let's see. I think based off, so what Sandy Hester does is she does a, and I'll leave her link in the description, but she creates a painting or different works within the landscape while she's on set, while she's there. And then she'll come back and make paintings from that. So from these, I created another painting when I got back home a few days after. Let me see if it's in here. Yeah, so here's one. I created this when I came back. Definitely do not love how it turned out. I do not think it's my style at all, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. I was super, super, super fun to get outside. Um, but I think I'm just starting to explore what is my style when it comes to landscape. This is not my style. I don't look at it and find joy. Um, but like I said, it was super fun. And then I tried doing it as like more of an abstract. So that was interesting. Um, another thing that I've been doing is just kind of art journaling about where I'm at in life. And right now I'm going through a season of intense fatigue, intense tiredness, um, having just a lot of mental health issues going on right now. So that's where healing and therapy can come through art. Sometimes I don't know how to describe how I'm feeling, but I can paint how I'm feeling. So it has been honestly super healing and rewarding to paint how I'm feeling. So that has been a blessing. I think I've also been doing that with sketchbook too. This was one of the 30 day sketchbook challenges and it was the bathroom. I love how this turned out. This is what I liked in challenges like that because I would never paint anything from the bathroom, but this makes me excited. This is just some art journaling therapy, art therapy. Here you go, you guys. This one says, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to get me down. I don't know if you know that song, but my kindergarten teacher taught us that. And that's how I was feeling that day. So there we go. I think this is where I'm going to close out today's vlog. I just want to say thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. I don't know if I ever showed my face in these vlogs. Maybe I'll show my face right now so that you get some more. Okay, you guys, I wanted you to be able to see me, see my face, especially if you're new here and this is your first time seeing me. Hello. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Comment down below. I want this to be a community where we can talk, we can chat in the comments, everything like that. But yeah, I'm just going to keep pressing forward. I... I've been struggling to be doing art. I've been so busy and my mental health has been very low right now. So just trying honestly to do art as I can. Um, and right now in the season, more based on my motions, what I'm going through, doing art based off of that. That's kind of where I'm at. So just kind of going with the flow and doing what I can do. But I love you guys. I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in next week's vlog.